Hey guys, welcome to the Lunchtime Review. Today I'm going to try one of these Tringles Pizza Pinwheels. This one is the pepperoni. It is literally pepperoni and cheese. And you can see it's kind of like a, um, a cinnamon roll with uh, pepperoni and cheese inside instead of cinnamon and stuff. And it's a pizza uh, bread instead. Um, we bought these at Jungle Gym's International Market. They were $4.19. Not super cheap, but I guess it's okay. Um, 340 calories for the entire thing. And here's your other information for you. So, so you can do these in the conventional oven or a toaster oven if you'd like. Uh, there's a directions for them if you want. We don't do ovens, we do microwaves. So we're going to remove the frozen pinwheel from the poly wrap and dispose of the wrap. Place the pinwheel on the silver side of, silver of the disc card in the center of the microwave. And microwave for one minute to one minute and 20 seconds. I'll probably just do a minute. Um, they tend to work out pretty good with that. Um, let it rest one minute before eating. Yeah, so anyway. It's going to be like most of those other microwave pizzas. You stick them on the little crisping disc. If I can get my finger underneath the, the lip of this. There we go. Yeah, so there's the little crisping disc right there, the little silver side. So you put that right on top of it. Um, I'll probably put this on a paper plate just in case anything leaks over. But yeah, I'm going to get the microwave for a minute and I'll be back. All right, here it is out of the microwave, and I let it sit for a minute, and then I cut it in half just so I can show you what's inside. Uh, this one looks like a lot more cheese than pepperoni. I do not see a lot of pepperoni in there. I mean, I see a little pieces like here and there, but um, there's not a lot. So nothing like what the picture showed, but uh, but there is some pepperoni in there. So I'm gonna let this. Um, I'm gonna turn the camera around. I'm not gonna let it cool off anymore. But I'm gonna turn the camera around, and I'll be right back. All right. So like I said, it's really pretty cooled off already. There's not. I mean, here's the other side as well. You can see there's really not a lot of pepperoni like standing in the middle and uh, standing out in it. The picture they show, let me pull my little tag off. Um, the picture they show in the box has all kinds of pepperoni in it. So I don't see that level of pepperoni at all, but we'll, we'll go for it. I taste just a hint. And pepperoni I really get more of the cheese and it tastes like there's a little bit of a garlic butter or garlic um, mixed in here somewhere um, the bread has a good chewiness to it it's like a, a good um, tough breadstick you know like a not a bad way like it's tough and chewy and hard but just like a, a good chewy breadstick I like the flavors really wish they put more pepperoni in it as I get a hint of flavor, like here's a few pepperonis hanging out in that little fold right there. I get a little bit of flavor of pepperoni, but boy, it's not much. And when you get a bite that has the pepperoni, it has a really good flavor to it. It has a little bit of spice to it and everything, but... There's not a lot of pepperoni to go around. I can just tell you that right now. And for that reason, I'm going to give this one a 3 out of 5. If it had more pepperoni on, on it, in it, and I probably would have given it a 4, or even even a 4.5. Because I love the bread. I love the cheese. I love the flavor of the pepperoni. It just needs to be a ton more of it. And for the price you're paying, this is really just a, a garlicky cheese stick. Um, is really all it is. So you really don't get... Um, what you're paying for. You don't get the pepperoni at all, really. So, um, so yeah, I still think it's definitely worth trying out. If you see these in your area, I would definitely try them. Um, I've tried a bunch of these. Um, I think they're all really, really good. So, they're a little pricey, but they're still pretty decent. Uh, less than $5 for a lunch. I don't think that's bad. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.